At long last, we've made it to zero week and our first football Friday night of the season. Last night was fun, a nice little appetizer with a couple of classic rivalry games. Tonight, prepare to gorge on a full slate of high school football from around the state of Arkansas. And we're getting going right here at Shiloh Christian as P Ridge comes to town for our five news game of the week. These two are used to playing each other as conference foes. That changes this year as the Ridge makes the move up to 5A. Shiloh, of course, is coming off a near perfect season that ended in a loss at War Memorial. P Ridge has a new classification and a new coach as longtime Southside headman Jeff Williams takes over at the Ridge. Both schools, though, are focused on themselves for now after dealing with such an abbreviated offseason. I think our mental capacities right now are where they need to be. I think maybe we're behind in efficiency on the field because it's one thing to know what to do. It's a whole other thing to get out on the field and actually do it. So we've missed out on that, not having spring practice to get some of those reps, not having team camps and summer seven on sevens. There's a lot of reps that we missed out on. Right now you're just kind of you're getting out there and trying to figure out, you know, what are we good, what, what are we good at, and who are we? And, and and I think that's probably been the probably the biggest obstacle so far. But you know, everybody's in the same boat. You know, nobody got spring practice, nobody got team camps or seven on seven. So you know, there's a lot of teams going through that. And I think you know the whole key is just keeping your team healthy. And that's a storyline we'll see out, play out across the state as teams go through non-conference games this season. No one's really had a chance to get to know themselves. Position battles that would normally be wrapped up by now will probably still be going all the way up to conference play. That's definitely the case at Farmington, where we should still see multiple guys getting reps at quarterback as that battle plays out tonight when they host Rogers Heritage. Even the biggest 7A schools are still trying to flesh out depth charts on the fly, so expect to see plenty of names shuttle in when Fayetteville takes on Conway or even for Harbor as they travel to Oklahoma tonight. Sure, it's a concern, but mostly everyone's happy just to be out on the field. Not having the summer work and the spring football has really hurt, you know, setting our quarterback development back because there's no chance to do any seven on seven or anything like that, uh, which is key for them. You know, it's, a, it's a special year just because we have the opportunity to play every Friday night right now. And you won't take any of those for granted. And so for us, we're excited. I mean, we're excited to be able to go to Jinx, open up our season in zero week against a really good opponent, and just play the game of football. And enjoy the camaraderie and being together and competing. And, you know, goals to win all of them. But uh, there's a little bit more special piece to it of the opportunity to play. It's almost that time to stop talking and start finally playing football games. And don't forget, tonight in your 5 News at 10, it's our full highlight show, Football Friday Nights, where we bring you highlights from all around the states of Arkansas and Oklahoma for the full first week slate of high school football games. Be sure again, tune in tonight for Football Friday Night.